Well, fuck. All right, so this is the second time that I've gotten a balayage and I've been like, not too late. I still wanna be a brunette. And I ended up pretty fucking blonde. Maybe I don't know what a balayage is. It must be me. <laughs> Okay, so I cried about it. You stupid, stupid girl. And then I curled it. Ah, I think we might actually be okay. Bitch, I don't know. Oh God, oh God. That was fun, I guess. Anyway, I'm moving to Poland in two days. That's what is actually going on here. This is how you avoid the problem where you're cleaning your clothes and all your clothes are clean, but then the closer you're wearing your dirty, you just don't wear any clothes. Thinking about the choices I have made and thought the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it will pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England. Never know, but when I see my friends, I see them with this golden glow. It seems they can touch 
so I like live here now. I've just met two of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. This sweet, sweet girl Zosha picked me up at the airport, brought me to this apartment that I'm staying in for the week, which is owned by this man named, oh gosh. He showed us around his little neighborhood. We went and got some pizza, had just the best conversation. He, they were just talking up Poland the whole time, telling me how great I'm gonna do, how adorable it is when I mispronounce words. It was so much fun. I mean, I'm here. Yay, Poland. So I looked everywhere for a towel and couldn't find one. There's not many places to look, so. I did find this hat though. He does not shower curtain. <laughs> smells um i hope all of poland doesn't smell like that i look tired <laughs> and you know what i am i feel like this is an appropriate apartment viewing fit wouldn't you say i don't know i've worn a bra the past couple days just because you know i'm new here i don't want to come on too strong but i'm already tired of it there's only so long we can keep up this charade. I'm a little nervous. Their bread ties are weird. You can actually like twist them. I want to go home. <laughs> Just kidding. I figured it out. Poland's easy. Anybody else feel like I'm kind of killing this so far? So Zosha's picking me up in like an hour to go um, look at some apartments. I really wanted to go get some coffee. But I'm not sure I'm gonna have time. That needs to go higher on my priority list, finding some cute coffee shops. got back from apartment hunting with Zofia, went great. I met these girls with an apartment um, that's like a 10 minute walk from the old town. The first two places that we went to today did not have any like common space except for a kitchen. The first one had six rooms. It was like a communal prison was the vibe. So small you had no space and I was like, I can deal with no space, but this other place that we found is like the same price. And the girls are so nice. It's close to wherever I need to be. And this girl was like, even if you don't want to live with us, like I would still really love to hang out with you. Like it was great talking to you. Whatever. I was like, no, I'm living with you. <laughs> One of the apartments that we went to, we were in like the main entryway 
and the landlord is like explaining the place to us, really just explaining the place to Zofia in Polish, and I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah. And the dude comes out of his room and he's like, hey, I like told my friend he could have that room, like, sorry. <laughs> he was like, you can't live there. So that was weird, but ultimately a billion times better. The girls are super cool. Whoever is moving out, like whoever's room I'm taking, isn't leaving until the first of September. But the dude whose apartment that I'm in right now is coming back on Friday. So I think on Friday, I'm gonna move my stuff over there, stay on their pullout couch until the first of September. And then I will have a room. That's actually pretty easy. Like, damn, I'm lucking the fuck out with this. This has been pretty, pretty chill. I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England, never know. But when I see my friends, I see them with this golden glow. It seems they can touch the rainbow. I guess I'll never know, never know, never know. Would that be me? If I'd stayed in my city. Adolescence, I can't help but wonder, but I guess I'll never know it. What the other book looks like. I've just been walking for hours. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. None of this feels real in any way, shape, or form. Basically, all I've been doing all day is wandering in the general direction of where I think something might be, and I found the old town. It was like a 40 minute walk though, so I should probably try to figure out the bus system on the way back. I'm just scared to speak in English. It's like I don't want people to find out that I'm not Polish, but like, girl, I think they know. <laughs> ticket from that machine but it sure did not look like a ticket I don't know it just looked funny and obviously I can't read it so I just got on a bus that was going in the general direction that I know my neighborhood's in and it ended up in the right spot but nobody checked my ticket I don't even know if it was a ticket I probably could have just gotten on and off without doing anything but I'm almost back at the apartment that I'm staying at so we figured it out this is so whack I kept having moments of like remembering that I live here for a second, like I'm gonna be here for a year, but it just doesn't feel real. Everything feels kind of fuzzy. And I was walking back through Old Town and I was like, ugh, I really haven't like spoken in a minute. Like I'm so bored. And then this man started talking to me and he was like, you speak English? And he was like, I wanna tell you about Jesus. And I was so <laughs> bored and wanting to have a conversation that I just let him tell me about Jesus for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I cannot wait to move into that new apartment so that I can be closer to everything. That part of town is so cool and more like what I was expecting Warsaw to be like this neighborhood. It's cute, but kind of boring. to feel grounded for a second.
This is doing the trick. we've debriefed how things are going so a uh, couple of things <laughs> I cannot stay hydrated here to save my life and it is a life issue <laughs> so anytime I'm in this apartment I'm chugging water does not matter Two, no matter how much sleep I get I my eyes will not stop being puffy I just look so exhausted <laughs> And I guess I am exhausted, but I'm like, we don't have to show it in our face, you know? I've been sleeping at the right times. My body's still just confused. So we need to debrief yesterday because it was a mess. <laughs> why I didn't stop and ask for directions. I need to get better about that. Maybe once I learn a couple more words in Polish, I'll feel more comfortable like asking people. I just don't want to be a dick. Hi, speak English and tell me where I am. Like, I came to their country. I don't speak their language. I deserve to be lost, to be honest. Eventually, after walking for who knows how long, I see this, um, it's called the Palace of Culture. Really big, tall building, like the center of the city. I am not supposed to be here at all. Finally, my phone starts to work again. So I tag Sophia and she's like, that's perfect. There's a stop like just on the other side of this block. Finally figured it out. Finally got on the right bus. It was supposed to take me, I think 20 minutes from the time that I got on the first stop to get to the mall. It took me two hours. And for me, like at this point, I'm like, this does not matter. Again, nothing here is familiar to me at all, so me being lost in a place that I don't know anyway, like, doesn't mean anything. The second I got off the plane in Warsaw, I was lost, you know? But I felt so bad that Zofia had to wait for me. It helped me get a bus and metro car. So now I can take the bus wherever I want, and I can get lost whenever I want. So after two hours, we finally made it to Ikea. She had to get some stuff for the school. Came home after the whole ordeal, completely exhausted, just chilled out for a while. And then randomly, I just had the desire to go for a run. As if I haven't been moving consistently for the past five days. I've been walking everywhere. My sleep is weird. Like, I don't know why, what possessed me to go for a run, but I was feeling it. I went to this park nearby. Did get turned around, of course. All right, so no real surprise. I got turned around. I thought I was making a full loop around this little lake thing, but I think I've just been going in the same direction the whole time. And I'm noticing a weird pattern start to emerge here where if I, I'm just thinking that if I just keep moving, I'll eventually find where I'm supposed to be. And that has failed me every time so far. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Last night I think was peak like jet lag disorientation i felt like i was drunk like walking through the city like my vision was weird i felt like i couldn't focus on anything moral of the story is this place is cool um <laughs> i am tired but i am excited so i think i'm gonna end this video here and i'll probably pick it up tomorrow when i move into my new apartment so that's all i got i guess uh no bitches.